Good morning children welcome to the english class hope you all are staying safe and good children in today's class i'm going to teach you a wonderful prose but before that i just wants to ask you a few question children have you ever seen a volcano i repeat Have you ever seen a volcano? And have you ever seen a lava? I repeat, have you ever seen a lava? Okay, in this session I will take you to volcano through the lesson called down the volcano. Yes children, so for today's topic of the lesson is down the volcano. I repeat, the topic is down the volcano written by jules gabriel verney learning objectives children at the end of the class you will be able to describe the mood of the character explain the ideas and present them explain the sequence of events and ideas discuss the appropriate phrases words and sentences and next about the author jules gabriel verney he was born on 8th february 1828 and died on 24th march 1905 he was a french novelist poet and playwright his collaboration with the publisher pyri jules hetzel led to the creation of the voyages extraordinaries a series of best selling adventure novels including Journey to the Center of the Earth, Twenty Thousand Leagues You Under the Sea, and Around the World in Eighty Days. Verne has been the second most translated author in the world since nineteen seventy nine. He has been ranked between Agatha Christie and William Shakespeare. I repeat, he has been ranked between Agatha Christie and William Shakespeare. He has sometimes been called as the father of science fiction. I repeat, he has sometimes been called as the father of science fiction. And now let's see about the characters. So the first character is Axel. A X E L Axel. Axel was a Professor Lidenberg's nephew and assistant. Axel is the protagonist and narrator of the story. Axel lives with his uncle because his parents died when he was young. His uncle decided to take care of him in their instead. He loves working with Lidenberg and learning about earth and its minerals. When Lidenberg decided to go to the center of the earth, Axel tried to stop his uncle from embarking. but eventually he decided to take part in lidensburg's adventure and next character professor lidenberg lidenberg is axel's uncle and mentor a man who works as a professor in geology and mineralogy he is so famous that people comes from around the world to attend his lectures Professor Lidenberg is hard working and optimistic never giving up on journey to the center of the earth he is also stubborn prideful and single minded in endeavors after the journey he becomes more enowed and next character hans h a n s hans hans is a icelandic guider who accompanies Axel and Lidenberg during their journey to the center of the earth he is a calm wise stoic man and does not talk much during the trip he also saves the lives of the entire adventure party numerous times okay children so that's all about the characters and now let's see introduction this extract down the volcano is from Jules Verne's novel that is from Journey to the Center of the Earth I repeat this extract is from Jules Verne's novel Journey to the Center of the Earth published in 1864 
professor liedenberg discover a coded message inside a book which explain how one can reach the center of the earth and then he takes his young nephew axel and a guide hans along with them on the dangerous adventure they reach the volcano and must go down one of its crackers how will they do it okay children so are you all ready to listen the story okay come on the real journey begins axel knows that the real part of the journey is beginning he was very terrified to look down into the bottomless pit children hear the word bottomless pit which means very deep hole i repeat bottomless pit which means very deep hole axel was very horrified to see the deep hole but in order to overcome the fear he leaned over a rock and looked into the deep hole and saw the vertical volcano walls and rocky projections children hear the word projection which means pieces of rocks stuck out i repeat projection which means pieces of rocks stuck out so after seeing these axel looked stood on end of the crater and his head started spinning and he grew faint and now the three people were discussing that how to go inside the crater by using the rope so this was the problem that they faced at this time while axel and ants were thinking axel's uncles professor lerdenberg used a simple method to get round from this problem professor lerdenberg dropped off of the rope into the crater and over the middle of the rope around block lava then he threw the rest of the rope into the crater and when they climbed down they would hold the two off of the ropes together and after reaching the bottom of the crater they would let one end free and pull the other end so that the rope would fall down so after the problem gets over professor liedenberg divided the things into breakable things like three packages and gives instruction that what they have to carry so he ordered hans to carry the tools and third of the food whereas axel should carry another third of the food and firearms the rest along the delicate instruments made of of the third package was carried by the uncle professor ledenberg while uncle professor giving instruction axel suddenly says what about the clothing and this great piles of ropes and ladders who will take them his uncle replied there is no need and after a minute the three were ready to go inside by the following order like first ants the guider then the uncle professor and finally axel axel went slowly and carefully by holding on to the double rope He was terribly afraid of losing support because the rope seems to be dedicated to bear the weight of three people. And after a half an hour later they reached the top of a large rock attached to the wall of the chimney and there they take some rest and again started to go down into 200 feet deeper. When Axel looked up from half way down the pit he saw that the mouth of the crater had become quite small the reason for this was the wall rose up towards the mouth they seemed as if they were coming together and then axel calculated that they used up the rope length in half an hour and they had used the rope 14 times and so they had spent at least 7 hours in the pit they had also rested each time for 15 minutes which was another 3 and 1/2 hours since they had left at 1 o'clock axel calculated that they reached the bottom in 10 and 1/2 an hour at 11 o'clock at the bottom of the chimney axel asked his uncle there is no way out his uncle replied 
Yes, there is. I can just see a carving tunnel towards the right. We will have a look tomorrow. Now let's eat and then we can sleep. So the three of them stayed there safely and had their food. Axel lying on his back and he opened his eyes and he caught a sight of bright star at the 3000 foot from long. But the star was not yet twinkled and so he assumed that it would be a star beta of constellation little bear. Children hear the word constellation of little bear which means a group of seven stars in the sky which together are said to look like a small bear and after that he fell into a deep slip. Okay children so that's how the story ends. And now let's see the hard words. Kratos. Kratos which means the large often deep holes that from the mouth of volcano. Bottomless pit which means very deep hole, very deep hole. Chimney, which means crater, crater. Projection, projection, which means places of rock sticking out. Constellation little bear, constellation little bear, which means a group of seven stars in the sky which together are said to look like a small bear. Okay children, so for your today's homework is that you have to write the hard words in your rough note. And after finishing the homework, sum it in the GCR. Okay children? Okay. So children, now you should be able to describe the mood of the character, explain the ideas and present them, explain the sequence of events and ideas, Discuss the appropriate phrases, words and sentence. I hope you all understood the session. Thank you.